If you're looking for a simple way to elevate your sets, be sure to stick around because today we're talking about the sampler in Virtual DJ 2018. This powerful tool has the potential to unleash your greatest creativity. With this feature, we can add audio samples, video clips, and still image overlays to enhance your performance. I love having my DJ drops, remix tools, and sound effects available at my fingertips. Now, this is a little intricate, so today we're just gonna focus on the basics. I'm gonna go over where to find it, what it does, how we can customize the look and functionality of the sampler, and then finally we're gonna talk about how we can create our own custom sample banks to enhance those DJ sets. Diving on in, we're working with the default skin today. We can access the sampler in a few different locations. First, we can come down to the side view menu bar, click on the button with the little boxes. This is gonna pull up the side view sample area. We can also use our performance pads. If we come to this drop down right up here by either one of our decks and select this drop down, you'll see the option for the sampler. And lastly, if we move on over to our left hand folder view, nested under Listen advice, if we click this drop down, we'll see an orange sampler folder here. And then if we do another drop down, this is where we can see all of the banks we have created. We also have a lot of options to customize them in this view, and we'll get to that in just a minute. Virtual DJ comes with some default sample banks, and to toggle through our banks, we can use these directional arrows. We have video and scratch, audio effects, famous, and instruments. Now, impressively, the program allows a user to have an unlimited number of these banks. In addition, we can have up to 64 individual samples in each bank. So I have audio effects pulled up here. We have air horn, siren, explosion, applause, and laugh. I now can put an additional 59 samples in this one bank. I can also have 64 in here, so on and so forth. So your options and creativity are limitless with the sampler. We have a lot of options on how we can customize the look and function of the sampler. If we come up to this little white dot here, the sampler option side view and click that, we get a drop down menu. Now I'm gonna go over what everything is here, but first let's start with the pad layout. Virtual DJ gives you a lot of options. We can either have a one column look all the way up to eight. Now I recommend leaving this on automatic. This way the software can make a decision based on how many samples you have in that particular bank. We also have image size available. We can choose small, large, or full. It's really all about your personal preference. Another way we can change the view is by coming up to this side view trigger pad. Once I press this, it will put all of my samples in a list format and also give me a few other options. Here I have the ability to adjust the volume on each one of these. I can still trigger them. And if I right click, I have the ability to remove, assign to a different group, or open up the sample editor. Now I'm not gonna dive too deep into this, but Virtual DJ gives you the ability to crop and trim your samples so you're only playing what you want. So by coming down here to this little blue playhead, I can drag this and literally crop my sample. There's also one on the right. So now by cropping this, I am only playing this specific section of my sample. Once I hit save, it's gonna save it over here and then that's what it's going to play every time you select that sample. We can also customize the audio output of the sampler, meaning where we hear it. So if I come back up to this side view drop down, select audio output, we have a few options. Now by default, the sampler is routed to the master and headphones. So if I select master, it's coming out of the master. If I select headphones only, only I as the DJ can hear it. Now the headphones only option will not be available if no headphones are available in the audio setup. Trigger deck means that it will route the sample only to the deck where the sample was triggered from and then I can also select individual decks. Now what's cool about this is I can actually have the effects on my deck affect the way the sample sounds. So if I select deck 2 and then I come back into audio output you'll now see that apply deck effects has been selected. So now if I activate a sample I have the ability to change how it sounds with these effects. 
Lastly, in our options, I want to talk about trigger mode. Now, this will allow me to change the behavior of the sample, meaning what it does when I press it. And I'm going to go over all of these in just a second, but I want to make mention that I am using a mouse today for demonstration purposes. But if you want to do this with your controller, you absolutely can. Now, if there's a particular effect where I say you have to right click to deactivate it, in order to do that on your controller, you would simply use the shift key. So to get started on all off. This simply means that when I press a sample, it's going to start playing from the beginning and to turn it off, I have to click it again. So I've pressed it to activate it and I press it again to turn it off. The next one is hold. Now this means this sample will play from the beginning as long as I have the sample pad pressed. As soon as I let it go, it's going to deactivate. The next one is stutter. Now, the sample will play from the beginning each time I press the sample. The only way to deactivate it is by right clicking. So I have it pressed, it's gonna continue to play, and every time I press it, it's gonna start from the beginning, and it's very responsive. Now, if I want this to stop, I have to right click to turn it off. And again, on my controller, I would simply use the shift key. And the last one is unmute. So what this means is a sample is going to be mute as long as I have it unpressed. So as soon as I press it, it's going to unmute the sound. So I have it activated, I'm pressing it, you can hear it, I let it go, you don't. I press it, we can hear it, I let it go, you don't. So it gives you kind of a cool effect. I'll do it with the sirens. So again, I have it activated. You don't hear anything. I have it pressed. I let it go. You don't. So we can kind of have that skipping effect. And again, to deactivate, right click. So these are our options on how we can customize how we activate our samples. So now that we've covered the basics, let's talk about setting up a personalized sample bank. Now on my laptop, I have a lot of these set up specific to the types of events that I do or a type of moment I want to be able to enhance. And what's cool is Virtual DJ allows you to combine all file types within the same bank, meaning you can have audio, video, and graphic overlays. There's no need to separate these out. So here's some examples of how I have my sample bank set up on my computer. So I have one dedicated just for Halloween. I have some spooky graphics and sound effects. I have another one for holiday parties where again I have holiday themed background and graphics, but I also may put a corporate logo in that folder of the company that I'm doing. So if I wanted to do some video mixing and pull up their logo for a little extra something, it's right there. I also have one for happy birthday where I have a couple of versions of the song put in there as well as some happy birthday graphics. I also have one set up for sound effects. And these are things that I wouldn't have time to really type into my search bar and pull them them up. So something like a comedic drum, a clap track, a laugh track, or uh, some type of funny whistle, or maybe the Jeopardy song. Things again that can kind of enhance or create these uh, funny unique moments, but you wouldn't have time to actually type them in and pull up the sound bits. It's a great way to be kind of spontaneous and fun. I also have separated my male DJ drops and my female DJ drops so I can kind of decide what I want to use in the moment, but I don't have to worry about hitting the wrong one. So the samples can really be customized to the type of DJ you are, the type of things you need, and any way that you want to enhance your performance. So let's take a look at how we do this. Creating your own bank is really simple and we have two ways we can do this. First, I can come over to the right hand side, simply right click this title bar in the drop down at the bottom, we can click new and that's gonna generate a new bank. Now I can't change the name of this over here. In order to do that, I have to come over to the sampler folder on the left come down to the new bank I just created, I can right click and then select rename and from here I can call it whatever I want. So for today's example, I will say DJ Rachel drops. Then once I click OK, you can see that it changed the name of the bank right over here. To remove what I just made, I can right click and select delete. Now adding your personal samples is literally drag and drop. And you can do this either through a browser window on your computer or use the one within Virtual DJ. So for today's example, I'm going to be making a sample bank with my DJ drops. So if I come to the folder where my drops are located, I can literally click and drag these over. Remember, we can have up to 64 of these. Now, if I made a mistake and I want to remove some of these, I can do this one of 
of two ways. I can either hit control and left click and select remove, or I can come over here on the left, select the folder and then right click and remove the sample. The most convenient features of the sampler is the fact that we can combine both audio, video, and graphic files in one sample bank. So here's an example of that. Right here, I'm going to drag over an audio DJ drop. Right here, I have one of my video DJ drops. And then right over here on the right, I have my logo. So in this one bank, I'm able to have all three of these file types and activate them as needed. You are now tuned in to DJ Rachel. and then my graphic logo. Now I'm not gonna get into how we can customize or even touch upon video mixing. I just wanna let you know that the sampler is capable of accepting all three file types in one bank. And as we wrap up, there's a few other things I think are worth mentioning. So if I come back over to my left side sampler and click on one of these banks, here I will have the option to change the length of the sample. I can also access many of the other features that I could elsewhere in the software and access the sample editor. We can also change the order of these as well. So as you can see, Virtual DJ has gone through great lengths to give the user complete control over how their samples sound, react, and are organized. That's going to do it for us here at Digital DJ Tips. Hopefully this video has motivated you to dive into the Virtual DJ Sampler. I hope you're inspired and are looking forward to unleashing your greatest creativity. The sky is the limit. Be sure to show us some love. Feel free to like and share. And as always, we'll see you next time. Happy mixing.